Greetings everyone, Andy here, back again with another video about one of the most spoken languages, English. I will be doing a comparison between modern English, English and Old English by reciting a text and a prayer. But first, I will be providing a brief overview about this three. Let's go! Modern English is the form of the English language spoken since the Great Vowel Shift in England, which began in the late 14th century and was completed in roughly 1550. Works of William Shakespeare and the King James Bible are considered to be modern English, or more specifically are referred to as using early modern English or Elizabethan English. There are almost 1 billion speakers of English as a first and second language. English is spoken as a first or second language in many countries, with the most native speakers being in the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and Ireland. There are also large populations in India, Pakistan, South Africa, and of course, the Philippines. So what is English? English refers to a version of the English language with as few borrowed words as possible. English project differs from person to person. The English project is intended as a means of recovering the Englishness of English. This term was coined by the author and humorist Paul Jennings in 1966 and he admitted that it was intended as a joke. Here's a list of German, English, and English words. So let's compare them. Frieden, Frith, Peace, Sieg, Sei, Victory, Stimme, Stephen, Voice, Frage, Frein, Question, Schön, Schien, Beautiful, Fangen, Fang, Catch, Tier, Dior, Animal, Leute, Lead, People, Find, Fiend, Enemy, Stadt, Stead, City. Old English, or Anglo-Saxon, is the earliest recorded form of the English language, spoken in England and Southern and Eastern Scotland in the early Middle Ages. One of the most important surviving works of Old English literature is Beowulf, an epic poem, the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle a record of early English history. Here are the first few lines of Beowulf. Hwet we gardena in yardaum, feld kuninga through me fruunon, hu thathlingas ellen fremedon, af shul shaving shiathenathratum. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience, and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. All worldly beings are born free and alike in worthiness and rights. They are gifted with wreath and inwit, and should behave towards one another in a mindset of brotherhood. Alle men sindon are andrichtes even je boren an freo, him sindon je vede je rod an ingehid, an he schulen don te athrum an brother shipes feore. The Lord's Prayer our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. O Father, in the heavens, let thy name be hallowed. Feder ure, thu thi ert on heavenum, si thi nama ye halgod. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let thy kingdom come, let thy will take stead as in heaven also on earth. Tobe cume thin riche, ye urde thin villa. On erdon swa swa on heavenum. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us today our bread for this bread. Urne ye dai huam likon chlaf, sule us today. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And forgive us our shields, as we have also forgiven our shielders. And for yufus ure gultas, swa swa we for yuvath. Urum gultendum, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And do not bring us into costening, but elise us from wickedness. And ne yelad thust an costninge, akalusus of uvele, sothviche.